G'day, Hayden here from Pacific Toyota. Just here to run over this 2019 manual Prado with you. Look, just before I do so, a bit about us. Um, Pacific Toyota, we run two large pre-owned vehicle yards here in Cairns. This one being my main location and head office at 235 Mulgrave Road. Across the road, we do have my new vehicle showroom, Lexus of Cairns showroom, as well as my service center just over here. Um, definitely producing beautiful weather up here in the sunny Cairns today. Look, the virtual tour is basically designed to go around the car in complete detail. Any bumps, bruises or marks on the car, because it is pre-owned, I will point them out to you. It's basically designed to represent the car in its current condition as if you're looking at it in person. Look, I'm going to jump straight in, start from the front and work my way around. Um, so I'm just going to try and get out of the way of my own shadow. But it's got the nice alloy bar on it. Um, got a couple of little chips on it, very minor. Uh, probably can't even see them, but just through there like that. Let's just try and zoom in a bit more. Um, so very minor, just like that one there. Nice little one down here as well. Um, just continuing at the front, so we've got the Hella spotlights. They're a genuine Toyota spotlight. Um, so just coming around the front. Once again, a couple little rock chips just through here. Other than that, nothing too major. Uh, it's had the bonnet protector on it as well. So the bonnet, once again, has been protected. Um, so there's no real major marks or chips uh, on there. Um, so all very well looked after through there. Looks like it was a little bit on that come off my finger, so that's all right. But there's a blemish in the paint. Um, so just coming down the front here for the base, the A pillar, and down. It's all very clean and tidy through there. Um, tires itself, plenty of tread. They're an all-terrain. Um, you probably still got about 30 percent or 40 percent remaining on there, and they're on a uh, XD series rim as well. So got all that through there. I'm um, just continuing down. I do apologize of all times. There's a <laughs> little machine here just cutting the grass. <laughs> um, so just continuing down. There's a bit of a mark in the door just here. Nothing really major, but um, just wanted to point it out to you. So just continuing down once again, no major bumps or bruises. Um, just coming to the base of the rear pillar and down. It's all very well looked after. Once again, plenty of tread. Um, and on the nice rims as well. So I'll just zoom back so you can get the general side style of the vehicle. Perfect. Um, I'll just do the roof lining. Okay. Inside the vehicle, once again, interior is pretty immaculate on this thing. Um, just going through it there. As you can see, nice and clean and tidy. Um, these are usually renowned for marks, just as the silver paint, rings and whatnot tend to get on it. Um, but this is pretty well looked after, which is good. Inside, once again, all nice and immaculate. Manual. Got the genuine floor mats in it as well, as well as the, the seats there. Um, I'll just go through the service history. So, it was sold originally through Llewellyn's down in Brizzy. Um, and it was a private owner vehicle. So it looks like a car that was purchased out of Brisbane. Going by the condition of it, it kind of looks like it was a highway warrior more than anything. So Llewellyn serviced it at 5,000 when it wasn't due till 10. Uh, it was due at 20 and they did it at 12. Um, it was due at 30, it was done at 19. Due at 40, done at 29. Due at 50, done at 38. Um, and then that should bring us up to speed, uh, if I don't remember correctly. Um, so that's full service history there. Just jumping on in once again, all very clean and tidy. There's a little bit of a mark through here, nothing too major. Uh, righty, -o. so the back of seats through here, all tidy. Rear seats, once again, also tidy. Perfect. I've just come to the rear as well um, to give you the general styling of the rear of the vehicle. It's got the genuine tow bar fitted to it. I really don't think the tow bar has ever been used because um, that ball is perfect. Um, if you're a tower, you'll know usually a tow bar um, those are uh, a bit scraped up once they've been used. So I don't think it's ever towed. Um, it's just had one fitted on it. Uh, into the rear of the vehicle. 
So the rear door card tends to get a few marks on it, which this does, but uh, it's a lot better than normal, which is good. I've seen them way worse. Um, I'll just put the seats down for now. So we've got the rear seats there, I've just popped down. Uh, no real marks through the sides. Oh, there's a couple through here. Nothing really too major. This thing's immaculate actually. They've done really well. Like I said, I'm pretty confident it hasn't been off-road. It looks like a highway warrior to me, um, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, just continuing through the paintwork through there and underneath. And just on that top spoiler there. Okay. Just coming around and continuing. See the beautiful crystal pearl paint colour. Um, that sun's doing a great job of complementing it. Uh, once again, rear tyre, plenty of tread. Through there. No marks. There was a couple, but these will come off. They just uh, fall out. So, nothing major. Coming down to the front. It's got the German snorkel on it. Plenty of tread. Okay. I'll just do the door card on this side. All very good through there. I'll just pop the bonnet and do underneath the bonnet. Okay. Perfect. Looks like it's also got a E-Rust Coplatex system fitted to it. Um, although it doesn't have branding on it, so I'm not sure if it is a Coplatex. Um, but that is an electronic rust unit through there. Uh, you've got a place for a second battery if you ever want it. Now, going by how clean this all is in here, like these little crevices in here a gurney can't get to, they're, um, they're immaculate. So that's a real testament to the previous owners. Um, that's one of the ways you can sort of tell how a car was used, especially in around these areas. Like you can't see major mud build up or anything like that, other than really road grime. Um, this car is certainly uh, well looked after. Once again, looking all in there, down in these tough crevices. The whole reason I like showing them is because, you know, we obviously detail them, but they can't get to those areas, so. Perfect, that's all good through there. Just gonna turn it on. So the current kilometres, um, that'll sort of conclude the virtual tour for today. Um, oh, I haven't done the interior here, I'll do that first. Um, through there. Okay. Jump on in. So yeah, that service history was up to date. Last service was done at 38,000 and we're only at 40, so it's not due to 48,000. Just turning it on. Okay, lovely 31 degrees already. Up in Cairns, gonna love it. Uh, I've got your screen there, which will also be your reverse camera. Uh, the good thing about these is they actually run a six speed uh, manual box, so that six gear is quite tall, so the engine's just sort of humming along at that high end speeds. Um, but look, that sort of concludes the, the virtual tour. Um, any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call on 0410. 839 um, Keys to the vehicle, it does run over, it does have two as well. Um, that's not, that doesn't happen very often in used cars, which is, yeah, frustrating, but um, this one has it, so that's a positive. Okay, once again, reach out if you have any questions, but that concludes the virtual tour.